we have fairly good mineral soils and we have the, the climate that is near enough to their, their natural habitat in, in uh, western states uh, to, to thrive, you know, adequate rainfall, adequate moisture is very important to them. People thought it was there forever, it would last forever, uh, and they could just cut as much as they want, and they really went about it. There are whole towns built of redwood. Eureka in North California is virtually all built of coast redwood. Okay. Yeah. And they need the big, whatever falls to rot down to put yeah. the nutrients back into the ground so it can go back into the big trees, which then fall down. Put, 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 the yeah, put the volume yeah, on because without yeah. your green material, yeah. Uh, yeah, because the percentage had got it got too, too, ooh, it got too, too small. I, yeah. It's it's a small leaf, isn't it? It's, I was going to say it's, it's a, a complete leaf. I, I find it sort of when I do my daily dozen in the bathroom instead of going to the gym, I can hear the effects in my neck. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you you hear it grapes. Yeah, it? yes, it does. Yeah, I got uh, I got that too. And when I'm felling timber. Redwoods have been around in Mid Wales for some time, they, but they were planted as parkland trees rather than as a, a stand of trees like this. And um, it's, uh, it was an interesting experiment, I think, by the original owner. And it's one that is noted uh, throughout the country because it is so, uh, so special. The more trees we have, the more robust they will come to withstand these pests, but inevitable all trees will have some sort of pest over time. But I think that the coastal redwoods will, will, uh, will, will stand most things like, you know, like, you know heat, uh, drought, they, they, and they regrow after felling. You know, there's a lot going for coastal redwoods, so I think more people should plant them. Over 20 years, we've tried to get the redwood into the commercial market. Uh, the mills were very interested in it to start with, um, but then the bark was a problem. And since then, we've been struggling for the last 20 years. And I think the last two years, we've finally been able to use it in the property market, although it's the, the up market of the houses, like in it, not the cheap version. It's the size, it's the majesty, it's the beauty of these trees, much bigger than anything else which is growing around. <laughs> 